The green and white of Nigeria resonates with Rio fans at the mention of the men's football team. Aruna Quadri has, however, shown the West Africans have something to offer beyond the beautiful game. The 28-year-old is the first African to reach the quarterfinals of the table tennis singles event at the Olympics. It really means that the people from Africa, I mean the players and even the federations, they will now be believing that it's very possible if they can work so much more harder and harder. Nothing is very difficult to achieve. After an impressive four rounds, Quadri lost 4-0 to eventual gold medalist and world number one Ma Long of China to end his medal hopes. I took a lot of lessons because if we could see very well, uh, he was uh, a player that is so much more better than me. So absolutely, I think I took almost all his skills in order to better mine. And uh, I'm going to be working very hard in order, in order to be as fast as the world number one because I could see that he was so much more faster during the game and more aggressive. Nigeria was represented by five athletes in table tennis with Segun Toriola also making history as the only African to compete in seven consecutive Olympic Games. While the group in Rio continues to break new ground for country and continent, the sport still has a long way to go in Africa. I think the main problem is always the problem with the funding. When you don't have sponsors, you have nothing to support something like youth developmental program. And when you don't have youth development program, it means the future is not that bright. And uh, I think that is what they are doing in Egypt because the government and sponsors, they are really helping the Egypt Table Tennis Federation. And that is the reason why it seems they are the best in Africa now. Aruna Quadri is currently ranked 40th in the world, but his performance in Rio will encourage him to aim even higher in a sport dominated by Asia, especially the Chinese. Quadri knows there's a lot of work to be done if he is to close in on some of the top players globally. Celestine Caronay, CCTV at the Rio Olympics.